Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's take a look at the power of accelerated payments or mortgage payments, amortization loans. So let's say that we have a $100,000 loan, 8% interest, and we have it for 30 years. Our monthly payments would be $733.76. So the total payments we will make over the life of the loan would be the monthly payments times the number of months, and of course a 30-year loan that would be 360 months, a total payment schedule of $264,153.60, of which $164,000 of it will be interest payments, and $100,000 would be, of course, paying back the principal of the loan. That's a lot of money to pay to interest, and so it's not recommended that you pay that you have a 30-year loan. But what if that's all you could afford, or sometimes that's all you can qualify for because the bank doesn't think you can handle the extra payments for a 15-year loan? But you can get back at the bank. You say, okay, I will take the 30-year loan because that's all you want, they're willing to give me. But without telling them, you're going to go ahead and give them an extra 50 months each time the loan, the payment is due. So instead of paying $733.76, you're going to pay $783.76. So you're going to add that. And so then the monthly payment, will, you will now force yourself to pay $783.76 per month. $50 a month is not a lot of money. If you can swing it, if you can manage it, let's find out how that will change the overall outlook of this loan and how much that total loan will cost you. So the equation over here is called the time remaining equation. The time in years is equal to 1 over 12 times the natural log of 1 minus the principal balance times the rate divided by 12 divided by the monthly payment and divide the whole thing by the natural log of 1 over 1 plus the rate over m, the number of months in a year. So that equation will allow us to calculate the time remaining if we pay this much money instead of that much every month. Because if we pay this much and we plug it in there, we'll get 30 years. So what will be the number of years to pay the loan with just $50 extra per month? You'll be surprised what the difference would be. So the time remaining in years is equal to 1 divided by 12 times the natural log of 1 minus the principal balance, which is 100,000, multiplied times the rate, 0 0.08 divided by 12, and the whole thing here divided by the monthly payment, which will now be $783.76. And we divide the whole thing by the natural log of 1 divided by 1 plus R over M. Oop, I might as well put the numbers in, right? So that would be the rate, 0 0.08 divided by 12. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's take the, the top one first. So we have 100,000 times 0 0.08 divided by 12 and divided by 783.76. Subtract that from 1. Take the natural log of that. And just so you can follow, if you try this, at this point, this should be equal to 1 divided by 12 times in the numerator you should get minus 1.9013131513. Of course we don't need all those numbers there but just so you can follow. And we're going to divide that by that. So we're going to divide that by 0 0.08 divided by 12 plus 1 equals. That's in the denominator so I have to move that to the numerator. I take the natural log of that and that will give me uh, minus 6.6445432 6 times 10 to the minus 3. All right. I'm going to the inverse of that. Multiply that times 1.9011131513 equals minus, and then divided by 12 equals, and the result is... 23.84 years. Wow! By just paying an extra $50 a month, I've changed my 30-year loan into a 23.84 year loan. Now, 0.84, how many monthly payments is that? So we take 0.84 and uh, we multiply it times 12 and that is 10.08 monthly payments. So basically, 
that is equal to 23 years plus, let's round it off to 10 months, which means that's 23 times 12 plus 10. So 23 times 12 plus 10 equals 286 payments. So what that has done, it has reduced the number of payments from 360 to just 286. So if I now calculate the total amount of money spent for 286 payments at this new amount, so total payments at the new amount is equal to, well, we increase it to $783.76. And we're going to multiply that times 286. So times 783.76 equals. And so now we're paying a total of $224,155.36, which means that of that amount, $124,155. $155.36 goes to interest and $100,000 goes to principal. Now let's compare that to what we had before. Before it was $164,000, now we're down to $124,000. Just notice, by just paying $50 per month more, we will have saved a total of $40,000 over the life of the loan. That will cost us less. Not only that, we'll be less encumbered because only after a little bit less than 24 years the loan will be paid off and so we'll save more than six years of payments off the loan it would be nice and so you can say okay if fifty dollars per month can do that for me what about a hundred dollars per month or 150 dollars per month so again whatever you can afford notice the tremendous benefits so if you go from fifty to hundred dollars a month i bet you can save almost double that seventy seventy five thousand dollars over the life of the loan and you'll probably pay it off in less than 20 years with an extra payment of $100 a month. So you can see the tremendous benefit of accelerated payments. And I would definitely recommend anybody that can, if you're in a position where you can spend a little bit more money and give a little bit more to the bank each month, you can have tremendous savings over the life of the loan. Definitely well worth considering. And that's how we do that.